本当に夫婦だというのを証明してみせて。Kiss each other. <laughs> yeah, we all want to see it. そんなことでよければ。Sort of giving it away with that answer too. It's like, that small thing, <laughs> just, a, just a kiss. Really putting on her best poker face for the occasion. Here I go. <laughs> just a normal thing to say before a kiss. Oh boy, this is gonna start at night, isn't it? Totally forgot, forgotten about her mission and. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> he's watching. He's literally watching. Okay. He's, he's watching right. No, that wine hit hard real fast. This is going to be a kiss to remember. For a lot of reasons. You asked for this. You brought this on yourself. Just brace yourself. <laughs> it's not the most romantic first kiss, you know, sort of being forced to do it by your brother. But at least it's memorable. It'll be a funny story later when they're inevitably in love and living a great family life. Because I'm sure it's just smooth sailing for them and their family from here on out. This kiss will just solve all the conflict. World peace. No upset. Bye, X family. I'm sort of upset by the brother though, he's kind of weird. Show off how in love you are, mission nine. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this if you're Lloyd. I don't know what you're expecting, my dude. Is it me or is it a little weird, their relationship? I knew that was coming! Why did I knew that was coming? Don't encourage it. Don't encourage this. This is all sorts of bizarre and crazy. I don't even know how to unpack it. <laughs> Anya, just keep sleeping. There's not, you, sort of. You're not missing much that you would want to see. The picture again. I hope this is a learning experience for us all. <laughs> I hope you can like evaluate what is happening here and how it's not good. This is not a way to live life. Be careful how you finish this sentence. <laughs> I don't know. I'm with Lloyd. What, what in the world? What in the world is this? This is really smart. He's really good at this. I thought that was so key, though. Battle outcome, Lloyd, <laughs> for sure. Anna, you dodged a bullet here. Communicated. Excommunicated? From the church. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know. The brother is absolutely absurd, but there's a part of me that sympathizes with him, not because of the him loving his sister part. I mean, I have a younger sister, so I understand the instinct to be protective, and how you gotta be careful of that, because it's ultimately not your say, and if you want the best for people you love, that includes understanding their decisions to a certain degree. Because once you cross the line where you're making ultimatums, or it's more about you and what you want, I feel like 99 times out of 100, that's counterproductive, and pushes the person towards the, the other person. Because now you're this figure that's introducing all this negativity and control and stomping on what the other person feels is a good thing and the other person's just being them and being that great thing but then the brother has a lot more than that too there's a, a little bit too much of attachment based on his own need i'm not going to say it's necessarily romantic even though that's sort of how they're portraying it in the show to give him the benefit of the doubt it just seems more like she just symbolizes a lot to him about where he is in the world and what he needs i feel like lloyd did a really key thing there where he won but then he won in a way that was generous i think some people were the common instinct in that situation would be just to you know the person fell down now you just step on his head but lloyd's like hold on a second let's reel it reel it in we both love your <laughs> you know it's great for your to see that but it sort of makes it difficult for the brother to go home and hate lloyd i mean he will but part of the reason why i hate him so much is because he can't deny him he, he has to sort of turn the gaze of fault back on himself because Lloyd kind of played it so perfectly. That'll make the resentment deeper, but it's it's a less justified, weaker form of resentment, I think. Sometimes in conflict, that's all people are really looking for is validation. Lloyd has a really great social sense that he can apply when he needs it. He keeps coming through in big moments, like at the dinner party with that evil woman. This is such a big victory informationally, too. Lloyd gained a lot more out of that in terms of what he knows about the brother. We gotta practice kissing, though. That could be the agenda for the evening. No, this kind of understanding goes a long way. And a little bit of... A little bit of self-honesty. Very compelling stuff, Lloyd. Even though I believe it's genuine. Best way to fake something is to have it be real. <laughs> Draw on reality. 
<laughs> Aw. And Lloyd? He just doesn't even sleep. Busy reading comics. Noble pursuit. Speaking of self-reflection and honesty. Surely they must have covered this in anime. Waku Waku indeed. For now, emphasis on for now. No, <laughs> it's a big no. She doesn't know. Alright, it's not end of the world to entertain the idea. Hmm. She knows for sure, yeah, she could just tell him, but not that exposing herself. Oh no! You are getting thrown under the bus in this exchange. I thought it looked good, if a little bit burnt. There's an opportunity for misunderstanding here, though, because of her, her work. Uh, I get it, but it still hurts. She wouldn't appreciate this. This is terrible for Anya. This is parental drama. Home life is unstable. Tell him, Anya. This is part of the genius of the show, how there's the mission aspect of it and their lives, but pretty much everything comes down to what could also just be slice of life stuff. You could substitute Lloyd's suspicion that Yor is aware of Yuri's job for just general distrust in a relationship or whatever. It's a really delicate line and it's easy for things to go wrong, which is sort of why it's important to kind of get it right from the beginning. Or once you understand it, to just get it right permanently. There's a cycle of trust where it's just kind of a fact that you'll never fully know how many secrets are hidden from you. And to ignore that, I feel like, kind of sets you up in a bad way. To think that on the surface, you can see what people are doing and you know their secrets and you know the extent of, of their deeds. I'm not saying at all that everyone's doing bad things. It's not true. I'm just saying that it's a fact that you'll never know for sure and that there will always be more unseen than seen just by definition. But you gotta be careful careful going down this road because if you start acting on suspicion for someone who genuinely isn't doing anything to betray you aside from maybe you know it's minor secrets that don't affect you it's one of those things where you're punishing the innocent which is just on its face awful and it's just counterproductive to everything you would want you know you want to reward goodness and create headwinds for not goodness as soon as that's reversed things start to cycle downward real fast there's already an imbalance which is understandable but unfortunate where receiving negative feelings for something hits us so more deeply than when things are sort of good and status quo we'll make an issue out of those things but we'll won't do the counterpart to that, which is make an issue out of the great things, meaning to acknowledge them in a way that's rewarding for the person doing good things. But then this is beyond that. This is punishing people for being genuinely decent on some level. Spying on, on your, for me, would, would be sort of a, a point of pain. There's a positive loop that can happen. You know, if I know that what I'm doing is meaningful to the person I'm with, because that is my goal, I'm more likely to do that behavior again. You know, it's it's conditioning, basically. There's a reward for something I did right. Oh, Yuri. No, no, his locker. Man, he's really all in, huh? It's too much, man. It's too much, Yuri. You need to quit this obsession. I would say he needs a girlfriend, but there's just no room in his life or his locker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Lloyd played that so well, he sort of can't not acknowledge that. <laughs> Proof. That meddlesome thing. This is a guy who seems stable enough to do interrogations. Yeah. <laughs> Among other things that would be healthy and good. <laughs> yeah, it's a dangerous sort to go down. I mean, you can convince yourself of anything. Even good good evidence can be spun that way. It's all an act. You kind of sort of just let go a little bit. Just trust. Until you have something concrete. There's something that I try to stick to that I feel like it's really been useful for me to think about and is counter to my base personality. And that is, if you don't know, just assume the best. I think in the past that idea scared the crap out of me because there was a feeling of vulnerability. No one wants to get played, right? But I think letting go of that a little bit and focusing more on myself and just my own actions and trying to be as perfect as I can be kind of insulates me from that a little bit. If people are going to betray me, then there was probably nothing I really could have done. It's more of a reflection about them than it is about me. And if I try to strong arm it, one, it's not going to change people who are already holding the propensity to do me harm, but more dangerously, it's going to push people who hold 
no propensity to do me harm to do harm because they've been slighted. It starts this slow, painful cycle of resentment. And it just helps me act better. You know, it helps me focus on the things that I need to do rather than being caught up on what often just end up being big nothings that drag me down. For my actual job. Which one is her actual job? Right. Also, we got blank checks for everything. We got taxpayer money. This is Lloyd. <laughs> it is Lloyd. <laughs> Great disguise. Frank is down a ride for whatever. Frank doesn't do anything halfway. Hint, hint. Little on the nose, though, no? Oh, they weren't expecting this. They were not expecting this. And your disguise. Your disguise. Well, at least. Well, you know she can stick up for herself. Oh, damn. <laughs> just, I'll take you down, a secret police. Now would be a time to back out. Is Frankie's arm okay? You should feel guilty. You should develop feelings for her. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get it. But... Where do you think that relationship would go? <laughs> My hot guy face. Indeed. You better make up for this in some secret way. Oh, no. Lloyd, you know what to do. Use that social sense. I know you have it. Oh, he's just trying to be nice. うまくいくものもいかなくなったりする。なのでヨルさんもそのままでいてください。堂々としていれば周囲には意外とバレないものですし。結婚相手がロイドさんに良かったです。But <laughs> no kissing just yet. 何を捨てたんですか? Ah, the thing I found on your collar. I was carrying it for some reason all this way. 結婚 1周年の記念日に何もしてなかったです。Damn, it's not even one year. ケーキでも買って帰りましょうか。Buy some wine too, that'll that might do it. It's just psychic red the air. Yeah, this is the no upset feeling that I was looking for. <laughs> this is what I need. Give me that no upset. I like how Lloyd's monologue in this episode was kind of an answer to the take the show gave when the brother first showed up about how everyone has a mask. It's like, yeah, that's true to some extent. There's a simple beauty to honesty, even if it includes honesty about the way we're not satisfied. Whatever various negative emotions arise, even if not to others, just to oneself, you know, like it's fine not to be feeling fantastic all the time. In fact, I feel like there's sort of this great lie that being happy and feeling amazing are things that just that people have, you know? Like just by definition, I think happiness is something awful baseline you know it's a it's a event it's a rare event it's moving up but you can't always be moving up every minute of your life you know there are probably better things to aim for like just general health contentment for that matter i feel like aiming towards happiness or aiming up is just naturally going to bring about a lot of negative feelings because it's challenging and it's going to reveal new information that is potentially threatening so i think one of the tools in dealing with that is just sort of accepting that as part of the process and not making pain any greater than it has to be you know sort of the, the danger of it is negativity arises and the fact that there is negativity makes more negativity because you know thoughts emerge like if i was better i wouldn't have so much trouble dealing with this or i've messed up my whole life to a point where things are going bad it's something endemic to my own personality and it's something i can never repair you know those thoughts sort of serve no function other than to deepen the hole where if it's something more like this is something challenging that i'm dealing with right now or like this is how i feel in this moment nevertheless i'm sure i'm going to get through it and i'm going to do my best to improve things in the areas i would like to improve them you know there's something just so much more satisfying about that and i feel so much more productive the comparisons lead nowhere the self-disgust leads nowhere it's easy to miss that fact just because to give the show's idea credit we don't see with a perfect level of clarity all the struggles people are dealing with internally at any given moment so to take what we see in the environment and from other people and to extrapolate that into what is normal for people and what people are normally going through is a mistake because almost certainly everyone's going through something at least and people may be having you know great great moments but you know no one's without struggle so struggle is sort of a normal thing i don't think struggle should be glorified i think it's more about what you do with struggle that defines virtue but there's definitely nothing wrong with struggling you could learn to cook you know that's a very stupid example but you get what i mean suffice it to say she's definitely not a failure as a wife you know and she probably will become a great wife just because she's able to have that focus and you know to want to improve and has things aligned in the right place so it's just it's a matter of faith speaking of which so that was a lot of marriage focus i'm wondering if now we don't go back to anya a little bit